Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. Today I have something that is very special to me. I think most of you will see this set that I'm about to show you to be pretty cheesy and lame, and I would tend to agree. However, the reason it's special to me is my four-year-old nephew, Kyler, who if you've seen vi recent videos, he's been in a few of them, and uh, he has grown to love the brick, just like I have, and he recently sold some toys of his at a garage sale and so had a little bit of money and he went out with his mom to the Dollar Tree and he saw something that he wanted to buy for me as a gift on his own accord. This wasn't a recommendation by his mom or anything else. He saw it and thought of me and wanted to buy it. So he spent his own money, albeit a dollar, but for a four-year-old that's a big chunk of change. And he bought it for me and so for that reason it is very exciting to me and so I figured I would share it with all of you. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life for Crisis, and I'm here with... Tyler John. And he, he bought me a gift with his own money, and it's this My Blocks race car that we're going to put together. Yeah. All right. Kyler, where did you buy these sets? Um, at the store. At the store? Why did you buy them? Because I was one for you. And hmm. You wanted to get one for me? Yeah, and one for me. And you got one for you. You got the tank yeah. for you and the race car for me, huh? Yeah. That was very nice of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you like playing with blocks like this? Yeah! Blocks like Lego and... Make it blocks. Yeah! I can't make it with blocks. Cool. Well, thanks, buddy. Love you. Love you. This is it. This is my blocks race car. This is a construction block set consisting of 23 pieces. It's recommended for ages four and up, and it claims to be compatible with leading brands. There is a choking hazard warning. And it says, one, easy. The uh, back of the box has some artwork as to what it looks like, some information about the company. Then on the bottom, there is a QR code that uh, you can try and scan. I, I couldn't get it to work, but there's a free video directions. This is released by CK Brands out of, it's a Chinese company, so Anyway, I, of course, didn't expect much from this, and because of that, I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> but tell me what you think. These are the directions that came packed in the box, and they were wrinkly and kind of ripped just like this. They were not in very good shape, and they were very tiny. Look at my finger. And I have 45-year-old eyes, so trying to see this was not simple. But we got it together. Nothing on the back. Um, I think that's maybe where those online instructions will be helpful. You might be able to see it a little bit better, but it's a fairly simple build. So even if you can't see the instructions just by looking at the box, you can figure it out. But uh, enough of that. Let's take a look at this guy. So that is our race car. Very simple, very cheap blocks. Um, their minifigure is kind of a joke. It's just the upper torso molded into a driving position. Um, the uh, neck piece is the same as a standard Lego head. The head itself though, while it's the same standard neck piece, um, the helmet won't fit onto a regular uh, Lego figure. And I'll show you why. So that is the minifigure head. And as you can see, there is a, uh, actually a decent print on that face. But the head is really weird. It's hollow on the top um, and that flesh tone is kind of creepy. It doesn't look too bad on camera but it's almost a silly putty gray flesh tone which is a little odd. You can see his little arms and stuff kind of reaching towards a simulated steering wheel. It's just kind of a cheesy brick that uh, fits in there. But the helmet as you can see has a rather 
big thing up there that kind of goes inside of that head. So if you were to try to put it on to a regular minifigure, it just doesn't quite fit right. So they only work with these uh, my blocks figures, which is fine, I suppose. I doubt anyone would want to mix this with their genuine Lego, but the wheels spin very nicely. There's just a, a few basic pieces that make up this car, but I think it's cool for a dollar, you know, especially for people on a budget that just want a little build fix or something. It's, it's, uh, it's all right. But uh, again, my nephew bought this for me on his own accord with his own dollar at Dollar General. And so for that reason, it holds a special place in my heart. So anyway, thanks for letting me share it with you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. And if there was ever a little person in your life that bought you a, a little gift, whether or not it is a brick-built toy or something else, uh, let me know in the comments below. I think it's just such a sweet thing when little ones who are used to being the receivers become the givers, and it's just really fun to see. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye for now. Hello, friends. This is Carla John. And we here wish I sketch. And we here I wish I guess. And we here Christian. Wish Christian.